the Innovate program, I'd just like to give you my perspective of the context, the economic context uh, in which this program has been launched, specifically in the emerging markets and in Romania um, as a country. Uh, and this is not my quote, this is from the economists with whom we've worked quite a lot. Emerging markets are changing for major corporations. For the company who are in the forefront, such as Oracle, emerging markets are becoming central to our strategy. What does central mean? It means that if you have a decision to make where to invest around the world, these markets will get priority. I'm sure Sergio will confirm that. Uh, if you have a decision to make on where you want to create new center of expertise, for global customers, emerging market will have a priority. We have enjoyed, over the last five years, continuous growth, not just in terms of revenue, but also in terms of employment, in terms of new partners. So they really become central. And why? I think it's simple to uh, show you is the business volume is now significant. It's not just a side show. It's not just Oh, okay, high growth but low volume. This is not a game anymore, it's high volume. It's uh, an integral component of the success of a corporation. And if you look at companies, not just Oracle, but such as Nokia, uh, most of their business is actually depending on emerging market nowadays because that's where the growth is and it, that's where they're moving and that's where uh, the strategy relies. So this is not by accident that we're here with Sergio uh, announcing this program, but this is because this market is important to Oracle. Also, all the trends we have observed which are important to us is the phenomenal M&A that is happening, whether it's in the telecom area or in the banking sector or also in the IT sector. There is a kind of consolidation of various IT companies and this is coming back to our willingness to actually help new IT startups. There are major infrastructure pro uh, programs, um, whether it's for travel and transportation, where it's oil pipelines, where uh, there is telecom uh, infrastructure. And again, as Sergio said, there are opportunities to innovate into an applied way in these sectors as well. Uh, without talking about the famous regional chain uh, of an extended supply chain, whether for example, in the automotive industry, you have a component uh, producer in China which ships things uh, through an Hungarian uh, airliner to Slovakia for uh, the local factory. These are all examples on how exciting and evolving is this market and why innovation is important even more in this market. Also, the good thing is the market is relatively safe vis-a-vis -vis to global downturns. You all have seen the uh, issue with the financial services crisis. I think this market has been touched relatively uh, in a little way, and which is a good thing for businesses around the world to, and investors. Um, and I think it's important to remember that a local presence is extremely uh, critical. Uh, and this is where I think Oracle uh, macro e e economy with, with our partners locally is very important. And this is where we rely a lot on local companies to uh, provide innovative solutions to our customers because that's where the proximity is, that's where the local language is, that's where the relationship is. Uh, and again, I think uh, like every time, um, you, know, you need to know that here relationship still count a lot. People buy from the people they know. That's why, it, again, the small market, the small and medium-sized market is important because these are the people who understand their customer much more than big corporation. And as for big corporation like Oracle, we have tremendous requests from our customer. They still believe we should be infallible. I, I have continuous discussion with major projects where you know, believe Oracle has to do everything and they, we cannot uh, uh, fail in anything, which is good to know, but it's a challenge for us. And obviously the other demand is best practice provider. Governance, which is a very big issue around the world, is becoming more and more of an issue here. 
but I think to a less extent for employees, more for executives. And I think there is a, there is a continuous trend where is security, where is access, physical or virtual access to uh, the, the corporation. These are important uh, trends uh, we, we've seen. And then you have to be flexible, you know, manage the ups and downs. Emerging markets all have ups and downs, sometimes some crisis, sometimes you know, the economy uh, growth slows down to pick up again. But you cannot just follow those. You have to manage those and continue on your long-term trend. Uh, just uh, coming to my central point, which is information technology and ICT, if you look around the world, when a government has the right policy and the right investment in ICT, then both the big company, the large enterprise, and the small company and the public sector take advantage of it. And then you have continuous improvement and success in terms of competitiveness and creation of new enterprise, which in turn leads to economic growth and prosperity. Look at Singapore, look at India, look at a number of countries that have put ICT at the center of their policy from a government and in the, in the private sector and look at the results. So we really wish that this is the case, or this would be the case, not just in Romania, but in the emerging market at, uh, at large, and the IT becomes a central discussion for growth. And this is where I think Sergio is uh, really engaged around Europe, but also here we had a number of discussions with the government officials in terms of solicit their attention, making sure they have concrete plans for investment in this area, because it will lead to prosperity. There is a direct correlation, especially in this market, you know, 99% of the company are small and medium enterprise. So a continuous investment in that area and with the program we're trying to really help create a small and medium enterprise is right on the strategic intent. And finally, you know, to do that, as Sergio said in the Innovate program, we need to have solid business plan. We cannot just dream about new business. We have to have some knowledge and some good practice around it so that the new entrepreneur can be accepted in the wider economic world of nowadays.